Hello and assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm addressing a frequently asked question which pertains to the AAA paper. The students keep asking me that should they give the name and the number of the ISA, IAS or IFRS in exams? The answer to this question is no. There is no credit, there is no marks for the name and the number of the ISA, IAS and IFRS. The problem develops because the student starts to idealize the examining team answer. And in the examining team answer, you will see the name and the number of the relevant ISA, IAS and IFRS. Uh, examining team is giving that for the sake of knowledge because examining team knowledge, uh, examining team answer, sorry, is a source of tutorial guidance for you and me. We can learn from it. But you need to read the examiner reports alongside examiner answers. And examiner is very clear that there is no marks awarded for the name and number. So please ensure you refrain from that. What the examining team is looking for is the knowledge, is the application. So you are not telling the title of IAS 20 government grant or IFRS 15 revenue recognition. You simply uh, you're simply ensuring what is the issue around re revenue recognition in the scenario, and you're trying to write the right accounting treatment, how a revenue should be recognized, or how the government grant should be recognized, and how the management has recognized the government grant, and what is the underlying risk. So you're just talking about what is going wrong, and what is the right treatment, and for that reason, what is the risk of material misstatement, so on and so forth. You're not just putting the name and the reference of the accounting standard, but yes, spontaneously, uh, in, in like your style of writing, somewhere in the paper, you wrote Asperize 20 or Asperize 15, that's, that's quite fine. So if, if that's like something naturally, uh, that is not wasting your time, but specifically thinking and recalling the name, wasting your time on it, there is no marks for it. So please ensure you refrain from it, focus on application, focus on the issue, focus on writing the right accounting treatment rather than the name and number. I hope this will broadly help all the triple students. All the best of luck for your upcoming exams. It's Kashif Kamran signing off.